right, so before the pin trading video starts, I wanted to kind of jump in here and talk to you a little about it. I know that pin trading doesn't necessarily seem like it would be hugely relevant to traveling. However, we did this segment on Disney, Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure, and for us, what you didn't see yet was the pin trading portion of what we did while we were there. And that actually was a really large portion of what we do when we're in Disneyland. And it, it is... It has a lot to do with traveling. I, I want to go to Florida and pin trade. I'm going to link Disney Pins blog below, which is this blog slash YouTube channel slash website where you can learn everything that you need to know about pin trading and through that you can actually meet other people, people who are looking to trade pins with you that are in all different parts of the world. I recently added somebody on Instagram from Paris who is trading pins from Paris and I feel like this is an opportunity to, to, it's kind of like a travel tip in a sense, that this is an opportunity to get to know people outside of your immediate area. So when you do travel, you have people to connect with in other places. We're going to Paris? Yeah. <laughs> we have a new friend. <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> and we definitely have to travel now to, to do any kind of things with pins. We looked up some pin trading in Washington State. There's none. There isn't very many so, here, well, so. If I want to go to a pin trading convention, I'm going to have to book travel. Yes. I will say that all the different Disney parks have different pins that come out, so there are pins that are incredible that are not, you can't find them here in the US. So sometimes you may want to travel and while you're there find something unique and special that you can't get here easily. So that's, I just wanted to interject and let you know why we're showing a pin video aside on from- On a travel vlog. On a travel vlog. Aside from, you know, we just like doing it. Yeah. Well, that is a <laughs> It's my vlog, so I can do it, right? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna put you through the beginning of the pin trading video. Get ready for some pin trading. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our pin video. So we don't claim to be pin professionals. We don't want you watching this video thinking, you know, you're gonna get experts opinion. But a few years back, one of the ways we added to our Disney experience. It's her fault. Yeah. My fault, no. One of the ways she. <laughs> you turned us on to it. Oh, yeah. I did. Yes. Oh, well, Disney World. Yeah, you got us into pin trading. Oh, that's because Melanie wanted that turtle pin. Yeah. And so, <laughs> it's her fault. It's her fault, which we're very thrilled. Thank you yeah. very much. Since we have been Disneyland goers for our whole lives, mm -hmm. you know, you can always add to your experience by doing different things. And so one of the ways we've added to our experience is by becoming pin traders. And it's a lot of fun, but it's also a dangerous hobby. And I've got... Dangerous. <laughs> I've got one of those too. We got lots of pins. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to tell you a little bit about pin trading and why we like it. Maybe next time you guys go to Disneyland, you'll give it a try. I have a friend who recently went to Disneyland and her and her son started pin trading and they're already big fans. So it's something kind of fun to do and we just love it. it can be, you know, a bit of an expression of who you are and what your interests are, and it can also just be something fun you do while you're there. Mm -hmm. So if you've never pin traded before, basically what you're doing is there's pins that you can buy at all the different stores. There's also mystery pins that you can buy, which you don't know what you're getting, but you have an idea based on the set what you could get. Here's an example of one of the mystery pin boxes you can currently get at Disneyland. This is a Pirates, and you would get two pins in this box, and the pins you can get are any of these ones. So there's like a cute little Mickey pirate, Pirates of the Caribbean on there. And then you've got a few others and they're pretty darn cute. Look at the Stitch one, I love that. So look at the Goofy one, how cute, and the Donald one. These are all really cute. So you don't know which one you're gonna get, but once you open it up, I don't have them in here anymore, but once you open it up, you get a little package with two pins in it. And then you open it to see what pins you end up getting of those 10, two of the 10. Here's what the Pluto one looks like from that mystery pin set. Isn't that cute? It's really cute. And I actually picked this up off of a, a board in, in Disneyland. Somebody had put it on the pin boards in Disneyland. You can keep the pins for yourself, especially the more expensive pins. You typically buy those because you want to keep them for yourself. Or if you want to trade your pins, you can trade with other members. I mean, other Disney goers like us. Um, we don't trade all that much with other people though. <laughs> <laughs> or at the 
uh, different Disney stores, they have pin boards. So if you go into the store, you have to ask a lot of times at the register, but they'll have a pin board at the back of the register that mm -hmm. you can check out the pins that are on there and you can say, oh, I want that one. And then you have to take off one of your pins and, mm -hmm. and exchange with it. What are you gonna trade? That little, oh, little guy. What, what do you want? Ooh, that's cute. Like a frost snowflake. Oh, that's cute with Daisy. Oh, I like that one, the Mickey and Minnie one. I know, isn't that cute? Oh, look at the little Mickey one. Are you sitting down? The Mowgli one's cute too. Oh, look at the Jasmine one. That's that that other. Is it the the chubby one you like? Oh, poor Gaston. <laughs> he had a short-lived uh, Figaro from Pinocchio. Look what yes. I got. Another, I love jack-o'-lanterns. So That's that cute. Good for holidays. Perfect. So we feel more comfortable with that because we don't have to, you know, when if some kid approaches me and wants one of my pins that I really like, you know, it's like, uh, yeah. But if we go to a pin board, it's very impersonal. You look at that one, you go, oh, I want that one, and you just exchange it. So there's no threat of losing one of your favorite <laughs> pins. So there's a, you can only trade up to two with each board at oh, a store, really? and you can't trade one that they already have on their board. Oh, oh, oh good to know. I, I didn't know that. know that. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, good to know. So and now then the, we learned something new too. And then the <laughs> other way to trade, which we really like, is you can approach the park workers. Um, what do you call them? The cast members. Cast, the cast members. members. They will have a little pouch sometimes. Like and, hanging on their lap or around their And they'll their open lanyard. it up and they'll show you what they got or sometimes they ask you a question if you answer their oh, yeah. question right. It's really fun. Get my good side. Okay. Every side is a good side. Look at that. He's trading pins with us. Oh, look at the Tsum Tsum one. That's cute. Is that Peter Pan? It looks like Peter Pan. <laughs> oh, Ruin Kanga. Oh, and I like the... Pumba. Cute. So how many people have you traded with today? Five. Five. Anything really good? Uh, not the moment. I think this is probably my best one. The goofy one? Yeah. I love your tie. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's cute too. Oh, it's good. Well, oh, actually, the best oh. pins right here. All right. Look at that one. So can we trade for that one? <laughs> you can trade a retirement. Oh, retired. she's retired there we go. today. Give me your retirement, and I'll give you this. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to retire too. So we found new ways to interact in Disneyland, and pinning mm -hmm. seems to be a really fun way yes. to. We get to meet cast members. We always have to talk to the women about at the cash registers to find out where their pin boards are, <laughs> and sometimes park goers have asked to see our pins. We go, we're not trading, but we'll show them to you. Yeah. Yes. Because everybody's curious what everybody else has. The other thing about pin trading is, you know, there are so many different types of pins that you can cultivate your own collections. A lot of people collect specific things. For example, the kind of things I like to collect are some of the more obscure movies like bed knobs and broomsticks. I'm a really big Robin Hood fan, oh, Sword in the Stone. Things, th these are pins you don't get as many of because they're not the most popular movies. And so you don't find quite as many, but that makes them more exciting to me when I do find so here's an example of some of the pins I would look for because I love the more obscure movies. So you've got Sword in the Stone, you've got some Madame Mim and Merlin here, and then Bedknobs and Broomsticks. These you'll find a lot in the parks because people just aren't, it's just not very well known. So these are actually really cool, but you'll find a lot of these. And there's only one that I don't have, which is an ostrich, and it's super hard to get. When I've looked for it online on eBay, it's just almost impossible. And then Robin Hood, I've got the singing rooster, I can't remember his name, from Robin Hood right there. And then you've got Robin Hood and Maid Mary and Robin Hood. And then of course, here's Fantasia. I'm a big fan of Fantasia as well. So I really like getting pins that represent more of the shows that I grew up on and that I absolutely love. What are some of your favorites, Elisa? My favorite are the trash cans and the bathroom signs. <laughs> I wanted you to say that. I knew you would say that. I have never met anybody that I'll likes you trash example. cans. But she, we went to, what was that thing that we a went to? A pin trading event. We went to a pin trading <laughs> event. She was looking at all the trash cans, and I'm going like, what's that? Here's one of the bathroom ones. The tiki room area. It's so cute. Let's see. Clear up. <laughs> so, oddly enough, Disneyland knows that everybody likes every part of Disneyland. Yeah. 
So they made pins it's for tra- of their clear. trash cans. So I love it that Elisa collects trash. So that's cans. an example of the bathroom one, <laughs> and they're so fun. I love them too. They're so cute. Yeah. I don't have any trash cans. <laughs> she doesn't want trash cans. I have pictures of me hugging yes. trash cans. No, when I hug home. trash cans. <laughs> when you, we were so into the oh, trash yes. can thing because they have different trash cans in the different yes. areas. We made mom take a picture with all the trash cans, <laughs> and she, she was so not loving it at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get done of she was hugging not too many trash, trash cans. cans. I think we like the trash cans more than yes. she did. <laughs> she looks so adorable. <laughs> no, not my favorite moment. It's actually kind of nice because there's no lines. It's really short. The lines are short today. Oh, look, there's a garbage can. Mom, take a picture next to it. These are our favorite trash cans. Why? They're so cute. They're just so cute. Look how cute they are. Look at the colors. They're nice. Is there anything else you'd like to collect, Lisa? Oh, uh, right now I'm collecting the duo pins. So like ones that have little either friend couples or romantic couples. All right. So one of the ones that Elise has been looking for is this set called the Disney Duos. And apparently it just came out this week. You can only get these from cast members that are trading in the park. You can't buy these at all. You can only trade them with cast members in the park. So she finally found her first one, which is little Miko, and I can't remember the name of the dog from Pocahontas, but she now she's asked us while we're here to find her the other ones if we can from cast members. So it's super cute, look at that. Okay, so Elisa is going to have a fit. I found, I went to Carthay Circle and they're discontinuing their pin box there and they had three of the uh, Disney Duo pins. They had the Iago and Abu, Flotsam and Jetsam. And finally, whoop, they had Zazu and Simba. That was a pretty awesome win. I won and Elisa is going to be the happiest little camper ever. I'm so glad I could find these because we haven't been having any luck today, so. Yay! Okay, so mom, what is your collection? <laughs> If you look at what I've got, I collect everything. You have to bring it up closer. So, what I mainly do is I just look for pins that I like. So, <laughs> if I see something on those pin boards that's cute and, and I like it, then I just trade for it. So, I I don't have any specific type of pin that I like. I You do have favorites. I, I do. Oh, me. Uh, so tell us Thank your favorite you. Types of- <laughs> My favorite character at Disneyland is Minnie Mouse. And so I definitely, they may not all be on here, but I collect Minnie Mouse pins. You're right. Yeah. I never thought of that. You guys always have to remind me. And she also, so here's what mom likes. Yes. Because she can't, <laughs> so remember. I can't remember. She can't I'm retired. Remember. I'm she 66. Yes. My mind is gone. No, she likes Monsters Inc. So she definitely likes oh, Monsters yeah. Inc. She likes Olaf, although I don't think you have yes. a lot of Olafs. He's and she's got a Christmas Olaf. And I have one more somewhere. <laughs> she likes uh, Dia de los Muertos, the, the sugar yeah. mask, the sugar oh, yeah, skulls. So she yeah. actually has a Night Before Christmas one and a Coco one and a Stormtrooper one. That was kind of yeah. cool. Here is the Minnie collection. She's got quite a decent collection of Minnie Mouse. Some really, really cute ones on here. And then here's these, here's the Dia de los Muertos mask ones, which are really adorable. Actually, she's got a new one from Pirates of the Caribbean, it looks like. And then a couple maters down here. And then Olaf. It's an example of what mom likes to collect. This is uh, Easter, and Elise has already been there. She said that they have a lot of Easter pins. I'm really excited about that. Easter has become one of my favorite decorating uh, holidays, so I'm looking forward to Easter pins. Yeah, that would be great. You know, we just tend to pick what we like, and then we're not great about finishing the sets that we want to finish. We just kind of find the things we enjoy. I mean, maybe in the future, if we were to get more into it, we could do that. Here's an example of a pin set that I haven't finished. This was a mystery pin set, and it's these uh, nesting dolls. And I absolutely love it, but there's one more pin. It's an Elsa pin that I am missing from this set. We've got Anna, but we don't have Elsa. So, but we have almost all the prince, I think we have all the princesses, and then a couple extra like Tinkerbell and the fairies from Sleeping Beauty. Just love the little details like Pascal there, and then on the Little Mermaid you have the seahorses. So that way you're able to kind of differentiate. This one's really cool. This one's awesome. This one's my favorite, I think. It's the Mary Poppins one. And you see this is her little 
um, umbrella with the little bird on it. So these are really, really fun pins. And hopefully I can finish this set. <laughs> but that's what we mean by we don't always finish the sets. So tell me, I've never been to one of the actual pin trading events, but tell us oh. about the pin trading events, because you oh. guys have gone. It oh. Yeah, we met at some pizza parlor with some people from all over Northern California, and they set up all these tables. Tables everywhere. Yeah. And they have their sets of pins out, and usually just either you can just look at them, or you can trade with them, and so or you, you can, can buy. buy. Yeah, it's kind of nice. So it was fun because it, it's rows and rows of people that do exactly the same as mm -hmm. we do. They have books. You go through the books. You say, "Oh my gosh, I've been looking for that one." Mm -hmm. They'll either charge you a price, or they, they'll look and see if you have something they want to trade with. So, we, yes. did we only go to one? I think I only, we only went to one. But it was really fun. Yes, and, and we made a friend out of it. Yes, we met a woman that we ended up eating pizza with, and yes. and, and now, now you go to you go to Disneyland with her, don't you? Oh yeah, annually for her birthday we meet at Disneyland, so, so you can make friends pin trading. <laughs> That's true. So. As long as you're not both looking for the same one. Yes. Well, I don't think enemies. she was looking for garbage cans. <laughs> then you make enemies pin trading. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we have a ton of pins. It would take too long to go over all of them, and you're probably not that interested in seeing all of them. But I have gotten into watching YouTube uh, Disney vloggers. There's this one I particularly like, Disney Kitty. I will link her YouTube below because she's fantastic. She did this thing. I love like mystery subscription boxes and stuff like that. I, I watch a lot of unboxing videos. <laughs> it's embarrassing. She does. <laughs> but it's something I just love to do. And one of the things she did was do was a mystery pin it wasn't a monthly subscription, it was a one-time thing. And so she did this mystery pin collection that she got from these really avid pin collectors in Hong Kong. And I decided I was gonna do that because I wanted to get some mystery pins. You know, who knows what you'll get. But these pins are kind of neat because they're from all over the world. You get them from Singapore, Hong mm -hmm. Kong, Ooh, Disney Paris, Paris maybe, Disney yeah. Japan, Disney Tokyo, and then, you know, either parks in the US. So it's this group called Magic Launch Bay. She'll link it down in the bottom. I'll link them down below. <laughs> Their customer service was fantastic. We really, really enjoyed it. So I got, they have like five different types of pin sets you can pin, you know, pins you can get. I got two aces and one, oh, one, um. <laughs> you had to look. <laughs> I got two we aces don't. and one other kind. So the, the ace has three open edition, I think, and one limited edition pin, mm. and then the, other one has like 10 open edition pins. Oh, and the difference between open edition and limited edition, open edition means that they're gonna continue producing them so they're easier to find. A limited edition means that they only produce a certain number. This is an example of one limited edition pin. It is the spring pin from Disneyland of Fantasia. So you've got the Pegasus, two little Pegasus, and then you've got the Seder up there. And I just thought it was such a pretty pin. Look at the sparkles and the cute little bubbles. It's just beautiful. This is a limited edition of 2,000. So you see right there, it says limited edition 2,000. So that means they only made 2,000 of these, which makes them a little more difficult to get once people have bought them all out. Limited edition pins can get kind of expensive, people buying them or trading them at those pin trading events. Mm -hmm. And what's nice about them is that they're a little unique and special. Not very many people have them. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to this magic box. Ooh. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. We're opening it. It came really Ooh. fast. It came really fast. It came fast. fast. Considering Ooh. it came from Hong Kong, it came very fast. And like I said, their customer service was fantastic. They were in contact with me the whole time. First, it has this cute little, oh. oh. It has this adorable little postcard, and on the postcard it says, Dear Amy, it is our pleasure to send you a little box, a box of little magic. Hope you will enjoy the pins received. We are open to opinions and reviews towards our service. Please add hashtag Magic Launch Bay so we won't miss it. Okay. Looking forward to meeting you again. Thank you, Magic Launch Bay. So that's, that's really sweet. sweet. That's very give, personalized. That, it's handwritten. I hate the whole lighting thing. <laughs> so it's handwritten and it's very, very sweet. Like, and it's really cute. Look at this little white rabbit. We're gonna hang that on the tree. Yeah, this is a Christmas tree ornament for sure. Yeah. Definitely. So that's then they've cute. got some some little newspaper Ooh. shreds here. <laughs> And we've got wow, our oh, the lot. fuel package. This and this one has our ten 
open edition pins in it. And we're gonna open them and show them to you. Yeah. You're seeing them for the first time. I want to. This see. is our first time ever <laughs> seeing them. I actually held this box and didn't touch it. She till wouldn't our let trip. me touch it. So mom's not good at waiting. She has no I patience. I am patient. Yeah. All right. So. Hooray! You get to show the first one, mom. Ooh. So here we go. This one is. <laughs> Oh, yes, I have to have this one. This one is a Marvel one. Or, yeah, sometimes it tells what, what Disney it's from, but that doesn't say. So, Mom opened up this one. This is 10K. 10K Weekend 2017 Hong Kong Disneyland. I'm guessing it's a oh, racing one, a running one, and it's Captain America. So, that's pretty cool. Ooh. I do want to collect um, some this of this marbles. What's Elisa got? This looks oh. like a baby thumper, and it is cute. Right. Excuse, here's the camera oh. here. Hi, this is cute. And this one is a, oh, that's Bolt. Oh, how cool. Okay, Which so one? that's Bolt. It's a hidden Mickey oh. one. Wait, let me see Bolt. Oh, oh, cute. Ah, so this one, so I'm not very good at identifying them. This looks like an Easter one. This is Nick Wilde from Zootopia. It's cute, it's like a little egg. And that's from Disneyland. Oh, oh. It says Hong Kong. Oh, it does? Yep, yeah, above. We think this might be one of the bears from Brave. If if you know any differently, comment in the section below. We're not quite sure. Okay, what's next, Lisa? This one's a Cheshire cat in a teacup. It's really cute. That's it's cute. sparkly. I have a 1989 Ariel. Oh. Oh, there she is. 1989 oh, yeah, Ariel. Cool. Oh, I love these. I know I like those too. And then what's Lisa got? This one is the cute little piggy bank from Toy Story, and it says Main Street Pretzels from Disney Hong Kong. Kong. And then this one, I love. This is a set of Mickey ears. Isn't oh, that's that cute, cute? Little hidden Mickey Mickey ears. Oh yeah, that's really cute. I know, I like. Those. I grabbed a little strawberry <laughs> bear. Look at him. <gasps> oh, that's the guy from what is his name? Toy He's from Toy Story. Toy, is he adorable? <laughs> Super cute. Was that everything? Strawberry and you showed the aerial four, one. Six. Yeah, that one's so cute. Eight, ten. Those were nice. Yeah, those are some really cool pins. Stuff <gasps> we've never. Well, we haven't seen a lot of pins. Yeah. We're not. We're not. We don't know all the pins. <laughs> we've only been pinning for what two years now. Yeah. So not very long, and we're not the best pin These traders. Yeah. All right, so next we're going to go with one of the Ace Packs. Mm. This has three open edition pins and one limited edition pins. And limited edition mm. pins are obviously worth more because they're mm. limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> so let's save the limited edition one for last. Okay. How do you know which one's limited? <gasps> I have no oh, clue. I love that one. Sorry. <laughs> so this one is absolutely adorable and it's from Hong Kong Disneyland. And it has the girl bunny and then I think Gelatani is the cat. It's really cute. There. Uh, yeah. Cute. <laughs> oh, I have a really cute one. This is um, this one. Disney. Yeah. It's, really cute. it's called Disney Divas. Oh. And what's really cool about it is that if you twist oh, it, yeah. it shows the, the witch in two different ways. Her, this one. Oh, I love it. That's that is cool. so cool. And then I've got a Toy Story. It it's from? a lollipop with the little eight green aliens on it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at that. Yay! That's cute. And finally, the limited edition one. It is number 325 out of 700. If you can see that. It's very tiny. I need, I'm going to get my uh, magnifying glass and get over there because I can't, you can't see it. Anything. And I'm not good at this yet. So. It is Bonane at 2015. It's got Chippendale. Ch -ch -ch Chippendale. Rescue Range. Ch -ch -ch Chippendale. When in danger. Cute. Really, really cute. I'm hoping you guys. All right, now we're going to open up the second Ace Pack. She got two one for me and one for her. Yay. We might give Elisa a couple of pins. Because we love her. She, she introduced us to pins. Yeah, it's her fault we got into this mess. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, your fault. So I just opened up Dash. Look at how cute that he is. is it's cute. so cute. It says Hong Kong. Dash from Hong Kong. Five of eight. What do you get? This is Tinkerbell, 25th anniversary pa Disneyland Very Paris. Nice. It is beautiful. And if you like Tinkerbell, that is a great one. <laughs> so this is one other one of the open edition ones. This is Little Minnie Mouse and Stitch. Let's see, can you see it? 
Minnie Mouse and Stitch in pirate outfits. That's a Looks like it's a mashup of Pirates of the Caribbean, Stitch, and Minnie Mouse. It's super cute. I may need that one. You're what? Friend, no, I right? want it. <laughs> okay, so I've got the last limited edition. This is from Hong Kong. There's only 300 of these made. Let's see if I can get it in here so you can see it. It looks like uh, that lion. <laughs> What's the Lion King? Simba. <laughs> <laughs> that one's Simba. Simba. So isn't it gorgeous? I can't wait to be king. It says eighth <laughs> anniversary. It's from Hong Kong Disneyland. I love it. Anyways, as you can see, pin trading can be a lot of fun. We're having We're, a lot of fun already. We haven't even got to Disneyland yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we love pin trading, mm -hmm. and it's fun for adults that are 60 <laughs> and six and young adults and children. Yeah, you can yes. have fun pin trading at any age. Yeah. So today we're going to Disneyland. We'll be doing a California adventure tomorrow and we're gonna take you with us. Hopefully you decide to pin trade at some point. Try it out. Yeah. Pin Trader's Paradise is what this is. It's Pin Trader's Paradise. Oh. Alisa, what lanyard did you just get? This one, and of course I can't find it. This Ooh, that's cute. Oh, <laughs> well, there's so many lanyards. The happiest place on earth. Oh, I love that. Super cute. Okay, so these are super random ones. You have absolutely no idea what they are. If you look at the back, they don't even have like, you know, what possible sets they could be. So these can be anything, and they're from like the last few years, several years actually. Yeah, sometimes we've got some really old ones in here. So this is fun because they're totally random. And it's a good way to get traders if you don't like them. Sometimes you find really good gems and that you, you, you really find some exciting pins in here, but sometimes you just find, you get good pins to trade with. Mom's opening one of the mystery ones. You never know what you're gonna get in the mystery one. You don't know if you can even open up the mystery one. That's what the cheese looks like on the nacho. Yum. That's a different video. Popcorn. Oh, that's Part of the set that you're looking at. Yeah, I told you popcorn had to be one of them. Oh, well, we'll have to look at that. And, oh my gosh, I don't know who that is. Hades. That's a good one. Is that a villain? Yeah, that one's on a lot of the pin boards. Hercules is a villain, right? Yes. He's a good villain. Amy gets to open that one. All right, are you ready for this? All right. Okay. Oh! What is that? There you go. Another one of the snack ones. Yeah. This will finish mom's set. That's why you were trying to eat. Oh, and then mom already has this one, so that's a trader. Soft serve, soft serve ice cream. Yes. So those are our mystery, mystery ones. Those are fun because you have no idea what's going to be in them. These ones are more recent, I think. Yeah, I feel like those are I can't read that. It's like it's like eye crossing. You can't. Two thousand and happens when you get old. Oh my gosh, that is the smallest print I've ever seen. We're gonna have to get a magnifying glass. Okay, so Elisa couldn't resist, and she got this pin set. Turn it over. Let's see what's in it. <laughs> She could not resist this adorable set of pins. Look how cute those are! And so, there's five pins in this pack. $28. And let's see what she's got! What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Ooh, that's so cute! That one's cute, but it's not as cute. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Okay, what's the one you wanted? Oh, the Alice! Yeah, yeah. she's really cute! That's super cute. Oh, that's cute! Look at the that's Dale. Cute too. That's okay. really cute. I think it's because the mini is the only one that's not chubby. Oh, oh the poo is adorable. Look at oh, that. Oh, you like chubby. Look um, at the poo. Oh, like chubby. And last but not least, oh, Mickey. It's a set. Mickey and Minnie set. Yeah, they're not chubby, but they're cute. The other ones are chubby. Oh, so cute. Those are cute. Little mystery pin set. There were like twelve different pets. It's pet. It's only one pin. Yeah, it's only one pin. <gasps> That's the one you wanted? Yes, I, I I went. Ooh, let's get the get Cheshire Cat, and I got it. Oh, it's super cute! You oh got my. the one you wanted. That's awesome. And it, what's that little fish he's got? It's his. It's a collar. So it's a collar, and it's a little oh. fish tag. You know, like then you put your name on it.
right, so now you have a ton of pens. What the heck do you do with them? Because keeping them in a binder or something like that, I mean, it's not a great way to show off your hobby or enjoy your hobby when you're not at Disneyland. So one of the things that a lot of pin traders tend to do is do these pin boards. Pin boards. I'll show mine first. I'm just gonna give you a quick glance. There it is. And it's got this really pretty frame and it was on sale. I actually was able to get two for the price of one. So once I get some more pins, I have a uh, another pin board. <laughs> but as you can see, you can group them however you want. Like my Guardians of the Galaxy stuff up here, but then for Christmas, whatever appeals to you. And what some people like to do is what mom's gonna show you next on hers. So here, that's my board. So I'm gonna hang this up on the wall in my, on my office area, and it'll be just something really pretty that I can look at. And if at any point I wanna change my pins out, I can do that and enjoy whatever other pins I have. Now mine's big, I wanted just one board, and I don't even know how much of it you can see. It's pretty big. But what I did was I bought some contact paper, cut a little heart in the middle, and Minnie is my girl, so all the pins in the middle are Minnie. And then I did put, um, I got my retirement pin and my other pin there. So I'm hanging everything I own on here. And then my mom passed, but sh she loved Goofy. So these are two keychains she had. So I put all my goofy pins together and she also had a Kermit that I got when she left. Just have fun with it. Have fun with it like we're having fun with it. And if you, if you are a Disney pin collector, comment down below. And if not, also comment down below to let me know who your favorite characters are and what you probably would collect. Yeah, there's, there's everything. You remember the part about yes. the garbage cans. Don't ever forget that. You can collect <laughs> garbage cans if you want to. You can collect pretty much anything. There, so. were, there were neckties this last time. Yeah, and neckties and surfboards are big right now. It's just lunch. so much fun and you never have to grow up. I'm not going to, <laughs> even when I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button below. And next week we will be back to a normal travel vlog. We're going to be going to Lummy Island, which is really close. It's actually our next door neighbor. and I can see it through the front window. Yes, we can actually see it through the front window. And it is incredible. It'll be a wonderful day on Lummy Island. You're going to find it. You're going to want to go. I'm hoping it's going to be kind of crazy. So, because we got a family. It's a family affair. <laughs> If you'd like to see some more travel vlogs and adventures in traveling of all kinds, but especially our kinds, <laughs> <laughs> then click the subscribe button below. And to find out when my videos are coming out, hit that notification button, yeah. that icon, so that you'll know right when my videos come out. They come out every Friday, so be ready next Friday for Lummy Island. I'm gonna link the Disney uh, playlist right after this so you can check out Disneyland and California Adventure if you've not yet seen them. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, it was really fun. Bye. Bye. So here we are, the end of the subscriber giveaway. I wanna thank everybody who entered and I appreciate the time you took to watch my videos and kind of figure out the little clue. As most of you guessed correctly, it was from the thrift video. I showed it when I was at Salvation Army and it was really cute and I just, I ended up picking it up that same day. So you will be getting that as well as a whole bunch of other fun things that I picked up during my travels. And I really, really hope you enjoy it. And for the winner, if you feel like doing an unboxing video, you know, if you send me the link, I can link it in one of my comments or something so people can go check it out. I want to say that after randomly choosing from the, the eligible applicants, the winner is May Win. Congratulations, I'm glad you've joined my channel and I hope you enjoy your mystery souvenir box. Anyways, I hope everyone continues to enjoy my videos. I'll keep putting them out every Friday, and hopefully there'll be another giveaway at some point here in the future. All right, take care.